Hello. Today we're going to be talking about comic books. <laughs> I'm not really that into comic books, but I do have some in my collection, so I thought I would just talk about them. So I think probably like the first comic books I read were um, the Super Diaper Baby thing by the oh, Captain Underpants by the Pilkey, wherever it is, and the Archie comic books. Don't really care for this much anymore. <laughs> oh, some kind of person who goes around in the underpants. But I still love Archie. I have like probably about a hundred of these, or not these ones, but the, like the normal size ones. Um, mainly Betty and Veronica. But I just love those crazy kids' adventures. Um, and then also, probably a little bit after that, I started liking Baby Blues comic strip. Used to read that in the paper all the time. Um, again, this crazy family adventures. Um, And also, going along with Baby Blues, I used to read in the newspaper all the time, was, for better or for worse, um, just another, like, family. Their adventures, I think, are maybe, like, slightly less crazy, but still a fun family to read about. I do have some graphic novels. Um, it's not really something that I read a lot. However, they are easy to get through, so maybe I should change that. Um, first one I got is, well, I guess it's actually a manga. It's the only manga I have, and it's um, Inubaka Crazy for Dogs. It's a story about a girl who goes to work at a pet store, and <laughs> it is sad. <laughs> it's had a sad element, but and then it also has like humor as well. And then I have three graphic novels that are based on books that I already like liked. So I guess maybe that's why I like the graphic novel. Um, it's just, I guess, kind of like a retelling of it using pictures. <laughs> What's not to like? So the first one is To Kill a Mockingbird um, by Fred Fordham. I like this book a lot. It's probably like my favorite book that I read in school, I guess. Um, and it's cute in picture form. <laughs> and then uh, Anne Frank's Diary by, uh, or adapted by Ari Fullman. Um, this is drawn in such a cute way. And I read the real one, I guess, like a couple years ago. Actually, I think, I'm not sure if I read this first before I read the actual diary. I'm not sure. But I mean, they're both fantastic, so. <laughs> And then I have the Anne of Green Gables by um, Maria Martin, um, which I haven't actually read yet, but I do want to read it this summer. <laughs> It'll be a fun summary read, Adventures of the Red-Headed Girl. <laughs> uh, this is probably a short video. Maybe I can like do like a flip through of the books or something to show the picture style. Here, I'll do that. I'll do it with Anne of Green Gables. I wish I, I wish I could like flip through it so you could see it. Like I don't know if I could do it holding it up like that, but maybe like this. I don't know. It's a pretty, pretty art. Look at that nice snowy scene there. Very like kind of like muted colors, I guess. Oh, there's a nice summery scene for summer because it's summer. Oh, what's this? Oh, oh that's nice. Nice boating scene. Drop, drop. And the end of Anne, <laughs> Anne Frank. Um, this one. I can show this. Ugh. This is a cute scene. 
showing a bunch of clothes that she wants. <laughs> Let's see what else we got. Let's Mockingbird one. This one here also has, I guess, kind of like a mute color. I guess maybe they all do. Maybe that's the style. I don't know. For a dramatic effect. This one here is kind of hard to show the pictures that are black and white in this one. But look at the cute little doggies. Doggy there. Oof. Tiny little dog. <laughs> and baby blues has black and white, but I think they also, yeah, some of them are in color. Parenting and kids and family stuff. And then the baby, what is this called? Captain Underpants. These here are always fun where you can like hold the page there and then you like I don't know if I can do it this way, but you can like flip it so it looks like it's being like an action. And Archie, a bunch of teenagers, high school forever. These are in color. All the cute little fashion hairdos. And of course this one here is like celebrating 75 years, so it has like from like 1940 to, um, what does it say? It has from 1941 to uh, 2015. So you get to see all the different styles. And that was some comics that I have. Let me know what comics you like. And I think maybe I will try and um, read more maybe? I don't know. <laughs> okay, see you next time.